at it, huh? Back again. This case, you keep on asking. Yeah, time for another subject, I guess. Yeah, anxiety. We're dealing with anxiety, realizing what anxiety is. It's Actually, a... you know what? Hold on a second. I think I made a mistake. No, it's good. Go ahead. It's live. It wasn't showing up. Now it's showing up. Oh. <laughs> yeah, like dealing with it. Um, well, most, uh, most of your anxieties will never come true. Um, oh, I was looping. No, go ahead. Go and ahead. you probably never write with things. You could be so anxious, eventually you'll make it right. Um, eventually, because you're not able to do anything else except think about the things that might happen to you. Yeah. So, um, but really the anxiety is, is simply a, uh, I would say it's a, a thing that you should be aware of, but not, um, not attaching any thought to it. As if you, you feel anxious, but don't attach a thought to it, that your thoughts anyway, or if you think your thoughts will, I don't know, like you're thinking that um, you're going to lose your job. Maybe you just stop thinking it and just, and then you can probably possibly see if you, uh, let's say if you did lose your job, you'll be more available to finding a new job quicker instead of being swept up in anxiety. So, cause you'd be living in a fight or flight response and then you can't get anything done in that process. How so do you get, how do you get anxiety? Do you get anxiety when you are looking for a job or do you get anxious or stressed when you are, I don't know, dealing with something? I usually feel anxious when I don't achieve the things that I want to achieve. Like if I want to do something and I cannot get it, it's, it's stressful. It's, it's, it creates a bad anxiety. Or when I deal with, uh, you know, um, how do I say, like bad managers or mm. people that don't understand me, that gives me anxiety. The people that don't understand you getting anxiety yeah. from that? Yeah. Really? Yeah, because, Why? you know, sometimes I try to say something you, you talk mm. to someone and the guy is like, oh, you said this. I'm like, no, I didn't say that. I said this. They don't, mm. they try to translate it into what they want to hear. Mm. I don't know if you had to deal with that kind of people. I think overall, a lot of things can make you anxious. Like if I, I was just making a video about my life, how I came this far and stuff. There's a lot of things that when I was making that video, I, I remember uh, it was giving me anxiety, you know. Like going out of the country, moving to another country, not knowing what to do, like how to uh, buy food, where to go for work, how to talk to people, what is the culture, um, how do I make friends, you know, um, how do I get a visa to stay there, all kinds of things basically. Or mm -hmm. how do I get into the industry or game industry or film industry, how do I move to another country, how do I sell, it's a constant um problem that we have to deal with as artists because we're emotional you're stressed uh, i was stressed mm. well i think everyone goes through the same thing we're not too different um we're pretty damn similar they say we're 95 percent pretty similar i mean there's only five percent separating most people so it's really everyone yeah, goes through true. it and I think, that is true i think it the management of it um and some people haven't been taught to manage it and some people have to learn how to manage it. And the, the, bit, the more you manage the, like the more you manage it in the sense that you are, if you get anxious over something and you've thought about it and you're going through the motions of something that hasn't happened, it probably never will happen. Like you're mm, probably- That's a good point. You could probably put like a 90% seal on that. Yes, and 90, then that's a good point. Because and you reframe it. Wow, yeah. that's, that's a very good point that you brought up because I remember everything that I was anxious about never happened. All the bad things that I was anxious about never happened. I was anxious about if I can leave, move out of Iran. I was anxious about if I can get a job or if I can buy a car, if I can marry the person that I want to marry. Anything, man. Anything. Can I change my job? Can I get a better pay? Can I be make a better future? When can I have a kid? When can I buy a house? All of those actually give gives me a, gave me anxiety, right? Uh, mm. Stress, anxiety, and you know, there's a saying. I don't know who said it. I think Einstein said it that ninety nine percent of the time you're anxious and worried about the things that will never happen in your life. Basically, mm. we are creating the worst case scenario in our brain 
because our brain is so, uh, how, how do I say it? Like it's so old, it hasn't evolved to the technology and the time that we live in. And we constantly mm. try to um, get into the anxious situation, you know, imagine ourselves in the, ourselves in the worst situation. I don't know why, maybe because stress and anxiety makes us to survive in nature. Like if you think about it in the past, like 40 years ago, 40,000 years ago, hundred gatherers, they had to get anxious and stressed about, be stressed about the environment around them because a snake could attack mm -hmm. them. Um, you know, um, hyena could attack them or lions could kill them, right? And if you're not anxious, yeah. you you may not be able to protect yourself. But anxiety mm. today, like if I can buy, can I buy a house? That's a that's not the right um, thing actually. That's not the right way of getting anxious to me. Like it's not the. Mm. Uh, do you know? Uh, does it make sense? Yeah, it makes perfect sense. I mean, I've I would be I would say I'm not as anxious these days, but then I can go in and out of my old habitual anxiousness that I would be and it's just reframing it and um, meditation is great for that I, I just like I came I just did a meditation for like 20 minutes and I was anxious about something and I'm like well and my mind literally goes it told me it goes whatever you're being anxious about it's never happened and then it never boom, happens actually it's surprising like, right fell off. I have yeah, never been off. out of food yeah. I've, I had times that I had to deal with like I didn't have a place to sleep, for example, at some point when I was in Dubai, mm. but that was temporary and I was anxious. What if I, st like, what if I, I'm not able to make enough money to get into a, a place for myself, right? Mm. And I let go of it, actually. I, I was sleeping on the beach and, 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 you know, at night, the sky was clear. I could see the sky, uh, the stars mm. and, and the universe and everything. And actually, that made me calm because I thought I was anxious but the reality is that I was still alive on earth, which is our home, right? And we actually yeah. live in this bubble that what if I cannot get a help? I mean, you will survive no matter what. We are born to, to survive in this planet, on this planet. We're not born mm. to basically die without food. This, the mm. nature provides. There is actually a tribe in Africa. I don't know if it's in Africa or in Amazon. I, I don't know exactly the place, but... I think I saw this in the documentary, David Attenberg, uh, Story of Life on Planet Earth. And this mm. tribe lives uh, in nature without depending on any form of farming or technology, nothing. And they have enough food. The, 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 you know, the nature cycle brings them food. They, they, they're always protected. They don't get sick like us. It's just interesting that how they can survive. And they're just fine, you know. And, you know, yeah. the same thing happened to me living in a in a place um, that I didn't have anything you know in the beginning when I was trying to start my journey as as an artist or whatever you want to call it because I, I kind of call myself a creative person more than an artist not not more than an artist but because uh, it's different when you're creative you actually think about other things besides art and mm. none of the bad things that I thought about happened to me I bought the best car I wanted to buy I married the best person I wanted to marry I bought the house that I was dreaming about. This is this is the fascinating part. I was always like, I want to live in a place in nature. I want to have trees around me. I want to have a house with two uh, basic floors. I want it to be like this, like that, and everything I imagined, man. Like it's just it's just fascinating. I wanted to move to USA. You know, 2010. I traveled here once for work, and then I said I should live here. And I was anxious. How do I get a visa? How do I get there? How do I get there? And I got here. You know, then everything comes together. So, so I can actually say 100% of the time when I was anxious about stuff, never happened. The bad thing never happened. Yeah, it's true. Um, it's just the mind wanting to, I, I think, it'd be, to be kind of like in that fight or flight response because it's, it's naturally meant to sit there and then you live in a modern day where you have to replace it with something and that's the modern day. So then you need to attach your thoughts, your feelings to thoughts, which are the thoughts of your life around you. And then immediately you, well, you always think about, well, what's the, what's the life around you? And you have to constantly try and rationalize yourself because you're always trying to rationalize yourself in, in where you are. And then 
what in turn happens is that you will attach something that that to try and rationalize that anxiety and so the fear that you get was when it's not immediate it's, it's very much just a well if it's thousands millions well millions of years old you could say um then it's it's probably really nothing um because yeah you won't starve um if you're having trouble with uh with whatever in your life that it's probably not as immediate as your emotions are making it feel. Mm -hmm. And then once you, if you can separate, well, you should be able to separate it at some point, you will calm down um, and something will come from the, you're, you're, you're putting energy into making actions to change whatever you're doing to get rid of that I don't know, anxiety, but the anxiety never leaves you. You always have been anxiety no, no matter what. So um, that's what keeps you going. Kind of, you know, I imagine. Someone in the comment section, I just saw it says that uh, it's actually off topic. Maybe we can talk about it at the end. Yeah, go mm, ahead. Sorry. Let's talk about it. Then. I thought it's related to the anxiety thing. Uh, I think uh, he said, actually, he said, he said something about violence and stuff. But maybe that's also like he's talking about. He's saying video games can take care of that for us. I'm actually thinking if video games can help the anxiety or anxiety. add to it no nah, it, will, it will numb it yeah no, no and, and actually, you get more anxiety after because you haven't you haven't yes. dealt with any of your problems you know i noticed um, like might, well i i would say it would numb it and then you have to go back to reality and reassess what you're doing you can't just escape it as long as you're not escaping reality yeah that's fine um but yeah you can think, numb yourself I think when I play games, I used to play a lot. When I was playing games, it was hard for me to sleep. I was constantly dreaming this game, and I was all always like wow. anxious if I can finish this level. I was addicted to playing games, very yeah. addicted, you know. And um, mm. basically, I think it kind of affects your dopamine in a way. I don't know, good or bad. I don't know, but yes, I mean, I was getting anxious after playing games. I can say that. But anyway, continue on what you were saying. Well, I mean. You could be really anxious because of um, an unbalanced dopamine too. Yeah, I thought your your thought your thoughts can um, derail you. Um, playing games can make you artificially more anxious. Doing anything, drinking alcohol, um, doing drugs, um, anything, you could become more anxious. And just even looking at the internet too much will make you more anxious too. Because you got to remember, whatever you're feeding your brain. The images, these can be really toxic. And I would say they, they, they will, like if, you, if you're really adamant about doing work and getting things done, you need to then really evaluate, okay, are you sitting at the computer and all you're doing is your work? Or are you sitting at the computer with all these tabs open, which are kind of draining yes. your dopamine and your attention? And you got to remember like, just even think of it like one new tab and then it could, it could just change your mindset and your view on things. So with me, I'm, I'm trying to, at the moment, I'm trying to um, re-engage a kind of a, I would say a love for doing more of the hard surface stuff that I used to do. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Cause I, start, I started to like, <coughs> sorry, no worries. fall out of it. And I, I thought, well, what is that, right? Um, and I kind of went, well, I really got to uh, go and evaluate what I'm doing and sit and go, well, I, let me do something that I actually think will be cool instead of just doing the old motion of um, that type of hard, old hard surface, kind of like let me make something. So what I've done is like I've decided to make someone else's artwork which would be new to me, new to my brain, because I'm having to challenge myself. And so then on top of it, though the challenge was, because it's much easier for me to like, I could mm. probably have YouTube and playing about some random videos constantly, something and I'm clicking and doing. What does and help you to get rid of the anxiety? Um, what helps you? Yeah, in your case. You just go through it. You know what actually helps me? I will tell you that. Yeah. Uh, I was actually under under a lot of stress until last year, right? Until just mm -hmm. even just six months ago, 
and uh, now everything is much much better than than the past and 2017 I started playing piano learning classical music and I still love piano it's just um, at the time I started learning it because I a friend of mine played and I felt like wow I'm lost I couldn't think about anything except listening to that music because it was live and the sound of piano is just amazing and then I got mm. addicted to that sound I was constantly playing um, not playing myself but the, on the on the phone like classical music and then one day my friend came over and you know he said maybe you should learn piano I said oh all right maybe I should learn piano mm. and I bought a piano the next day think about that 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 was weird we just went yeah. and yeah and uh, I didn't have even like it was hard paying ten thousand dollars to a, it was at the time that was a um, upright piano and I started getting mm. teachers and I got hooked and I couldn't uh, stop anymore because I realized what I'm focusing on that is specifically kind of removes my anxiety. Sculpting does the same. When I, when I sculpt, I get into a different world. It's just different than the reality, right? That's why probably why humans create entertainment to forget about the, the stressful times that we are in because you can imagine yourself, uh, yourself in a fantasy world like movies or mm. fantasy game like Witcher, which was one of the best games I ever played. Because I felt inside that world. And, you know, piano yeah. actually helped me to get rid of the anxiety. And I, as soon as I started playing piano, I kind of didn't lose my interest on in games. But I, I'm not playing anymore right now because I don't have time. Unless if it's a specific game. But I got hooked with the, with the piano. And I just wanted to practice as much piano as I can. Play music and learn as much as I can. Because it was kind of taking care of all of my stressful situations. You know, mm. and I remember when I was in Dubai, there was no tree there, right? It's just desert nothing is it's dry there's nothing except the ocean which is even uh, the ocean is hot and on summer you cannot even swim so hmm. summer imagine that like it's hot on summer you yeah. cannot because it's hot oh. out there yeah and uh, in dubai i was actually i remember i was playing uh, far cry because it was a game with nature and stuff you know it was just just helping my stress to go down my anxiety to go down i felt like safe when i was playing that game because of the the nature mm -hmm. in the game now, the same thing happened when I started Piano, 2017. And now that my life has changed a bit, I'm getting to the direction that I want to go. Uh, I'm anxious about something else. I'm not, my anxiety has changed. It's not about um, losing my life or not being able to achieve a stuff. My anxiety is about, am I doing the right thing today? Is it in line with the goals that I have for myself for the next five years, six years? Uh, yeah. what am I doing wrong now maybe I should pivot on something maybe I should do something else am I doing these podcasts is it helpful for people to listen to us things like that right and the more mm -hmm. I the only way to go through it for me is like to do more and more and more you know me like we just constantly talk about this kind of things how to do mm -hmm. more how to test this stuff and yeah. Uh, um, yeah that that actually relieves my anxiety because when I see some achievements like a slow progress on, on YouTube or um teaching classes my mentorships or or whatever whatever i'm doing when i see a small achievements that actually reduces my anxiety mm, it's a reward dopamine yes that's what dopamine rewards you and that's the best thing you can get is through well the funny thing is it's like um so you're if you sat down and you did work and you're getting anxious about the work the funny thing is if you finish the work you probably feel better so you could yeah. be really anxious starting the work because you're in fear that whatever you're doing, you know, might be just crap or whatever, but you push through it and you push through the resistance, then you get a dopamine thing. And then that will hopefully snowball. So like, say you're down here with your, you're kind of like, you know, I don't want to do it. And then you go and you finish it and you're up here and then you're like, Oh, that was really good. And then you kind of like, you'll fall down a bit with your confidence and whatever, but then you get to like, if you do it again, you come up here. Um, so like you say people who are perfecting their art, like, so the guy I was talking about that I'm making artwork is, uh, Brian, some, like he's doing the same thing again and again, right. Old Max. So like he's perfected his thing where he's like, chuk, 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 chuk. and for him, he's probably like at a certain level where he's done his first one, got really comfort third, fourth and fifth, sixth. And so like, he is just rolling out with it and it becomes like this really rhythmic thing of confidence and his anxiousness will um will subside and then the work will get better so just know if you push it push it your anxiety will get 
your, your anxiety will come down just from doing work. And that's the funny thing. Like you, maybe you're anxious because you're doing nothing too. Could like you're be not that, doing yeah. You know what's yeah. interesting, Mike? Uh, up until just a few months ago, I didn't know how life is without anxiety, which is good actually. To have less anxiety, life is good. Yeah. You know? Yeah, because, uh, wow, when I think about it, uh, a few times I was sitting with my wife and I was talking to her and I was like, wow, this is weird. I never felt this way. I never mm. felt this way because I'm much safer than I have ever been in my entire life. After 35 mm. years of living, I'm not, I'm not there yet. I'm doing everything I can to just get to a point where I told you, like, I just want to experience one year without any stress. I just want to have one year in life that I no don't stress? have to think about anything nothing at all mm. zero and just do whatever the hell i want to do anything that i want to do mm. you know like travel watch movies read as many books as i want wake up like i wake up early in the morning so that's out of the thing it doesn't matter like i wanted to say wake up whenever i want to wake up but that doesn't change because i wake up anytime <laughs> yeah so yeah every every day in the morning but i think i think it's very important to to find a way to live I don't think it has anything to do just with, with money or with uh, achievements. I think it's about finding the peace inside you, understanding why you live on earth. What is the reason that you're here? You know, like yeah, looking a, at the signs of your life. Huh? Not have any anxiety. A homeless person might not have any anxiety. Probably, yes. Yeah, I mean, what is the difference them. between someone who lives in, in, a, in a tribe in Amazon mm. without modern technology without anything that we use and and us you know at the end of the day we live right the um, difference i think is massive there's a massive difference but i reckon a tribes person probably wouldn't be as stressed as us yeah we've, but, we've invented so much exactly that's what i'm saying so what's the point of all of this why do we have to go through all of this i it's think life is stuff. huh we want, we want stuff so do you we think want, it's, it's material great. Yeah, materialism. <clears throat> like, we look at the next person and compare ourselves. We, the fact that we can look up, like, even if you're not intentionally looking at stuff on YouTube and then you might see someone's life that's better than yours, probably cause you a little bit of anxiety because you're doing that comparison thing. I don't know, subconsciously. And you want stuff. And then, and then, then they probably, the people who have maybe more than you, still want more and it never ends. So, like, your anxiety is just a, whole lot of like imaginary um imaginary things of like you want to you want your goals you want your things just you do you that's what i always say do you i don't know if it's the things yes yes the material things kind of pushes you right it pushes you to go to a direction but looking mm. at uh you know i don't know if material things can make you happy overall it can give no, you like don't. having a house is good you can be happy in your own house that makes you happy right uh but honestly like having one car or five cars i don't think it's going to change anything it's just i, I guess i don't think any, any materialistic thing changes anything at any point um because it wears off it's uh, yeah instant. the only reason a home is actually good is because you have a place that you think it's yours you know that's that's what we want i mean even hunter gatherers they wanted a shelter right a cave or hmm. they they made something using woods or whatever to just stay dry or you know uh, have some shades to stay hydrated mm. and things like that. So I think house feels good because it's in our gene. It's on, in our DNA over the, mm. you know, thousands of years, Maybe. hundreds oh. of years, but a car, mm. yeah. you know, it's just a fancy thing. I mean, now you need it because of traveling and mm. working and stuff. And, you know, yeah. but when I look at the tribe in Amazon, they live and we live. It's the same thing. We both live. Mm. And at the end of the day, it doesn't matter. I think when I think about it, I think part of it is because um, modern, like human life, like life in general, I don't know what to call it, life, right? The, the essence mm -hmm. of life, the consciousness of life or whatever you want to say, because I think there's something called life. This is actually advancing, right? This is moving to the next level, trying to make mm -hmm. a better uh, advanced civilizations. That's why we evolved to what we are, right? Dinosaurs got mm -hmm. extinct. We came to Earth and uh, we started farming. Then, uh, you know, when you do DNA tests, your DNA can go back to the one woman 
one woman from 150,000 years ago and a guy, or the opposite way, I, I did a DNA test uh, from 200,000 years ago. So, you know, kind of like Adam and Eve, basically, if you want to believe in that story. But um, I think um, we, we just uh, evolve, life evolves to, to, trans, to basically scatter to other planets. Why do we? Why are we obsessed about going to another planet? What's the point of it? Is it mm. us, or is it the life, the essence of life, the consciousness behind it that is driving people to find a way to go to an, another planet? You know, maybe it's anxiety. It's it's anxiety, right? We're constantly worried about yeah. what if it's, it's, it's uh, the yeah. asteroid. The planet, <laughs> yeah. I think subconsciously, I think we have to live with it. You have to live with anxiety. You have to. You can't get rid of it. And the anxiety makes you grow um, because most people numb their anxiety and then they don't have any growth. And what yes. do you get from that? You yeah. get more anxiety at the end of it. Actually, you're um, right. I mean, anxiety gives me an idea to grow. Every time I get anxious, the only way that I can get rid of the anxiety is to do something that I can get results, like improve my work, make more money, do this, invest here, yeah. buy, buy stocks and live it there. Maybe you should change some of your stock. Ah, uh, whatever. You know, anything that gives me a good feeling about uh, my future or um, could be ego. I don't know. It's not ego, actually. Ego, ego is not tied to anxiety. Yeah. Um, ego is like a... Uh, ego is a sense of being of I'm confident with what I'm doing. And we all have... Uh, we can all have an unhealthy level of ego and then... Yeah. Yeah. You know, um, well, you could be very much like very doubtful, but an anxiety tied to ego would be, I don't think, I don't think it's there. Maybe you're so um, egocentric that you can become anxious once you wake up from your ego, because then you realize all the things that you've done to everyone else mm. that could make you, I, I've been yeah. in those little bits of instances where ego has absorbed me at times and then um realize that you've been and then the anxiety will kick in because the self-realization of your being in, in 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 itself like you're realizing yourself so it's kind of a like a wake up to you um but yeah i, I would say meditation if you guys have anxiety meditation is a good thing as much as you really don't want to sit down and do it just like you with piano, piano yes it's a form of meditation it's a meditation and yes like trust me you don't you don't want to do meditation but then when you come out of it you do want to do it so just reverse it because you don't want to do it just do it anyway right it's like going to the gym you like i don't want to get really train really today but i went anyway because if i don't it's just, it's a form of um you know, relax, relaxation i'd probably be um sitting at a higher level of anxiety because i didn't go to the gym um because you, you lower you can lower your anxiety through working out because you're meant to do those things. You're probably meant to wake up and run around and hunt something. You're not meant to just sit there or you pick some berries because you're a woman. So or you're meant to build something and like whatever like these really primitive actions that we once had, um, we're meant to be doing them. So Yeah, I searched on this? Google how to deal with anxiety and it says take yeah. a time out. Practice yoga, listen to music, meditate, listen to music, right? This is this is what helped me. Classical music. I, I mm. don't get I don't get relieved when I listen to, for example, rock music or any sort of other music. Because there is a there is something in, in classical music that actually the, the the musical tone actually relieves the pain, you know? It helps you to yeah. relax. Because classical music is based on mathematics. It's it's a different order comparing to other modern music. I think modern music is basically um, you know, it's not as good as what we had in the past, just like uh, modern art, I would say. Mm. You know, classical music is is, a, is amazing. Anyway, meditate, like I said, get a, mess, get a massage or whatever. Eat well, balance meals. Do not uh, skip any meals. That actually, I don't know, because sometimes when you get stressed and anxious, you actually want to eat more. And it actually adds to your yes. stress when you eat more. I don't know just about that. Eat depends what you eat what are you going to eat though yeah so chocolate um, <laughs> chocolate, chocolate. <laughs> well, that, it's sugar yeah sugar well sugar so sugar is um inflammatory right 
Yeah, yeah, it's not so, good. It's not good. It just it, it yeah. lifts you and then you you just hits you down like drops you from from above with the head straight to the floor. You know, what? <laughs> you just I phew, mean, go down. Ever been, never been like that. We just binged on food for a bit to try and lower your anxiety. I think I've done it once. I don't know if it works. Uh, yeah, it, maybe, it maybe work. it works. Well, um, so like if you had dark chocolate uh that it's because chocolate relaxes you so you yeah. could relax you could actually do it to relax you i mean it's kind of like smoking yeah. smoking actually works it relaxes you right i don't but know I think about that the, hey i don't know about the smoking well yes it, it does i used to smoke hookah down. sometimes and i stopped yeah. it at some point yeah but you know uh, like it says for example get good at sleep or exercise daily those help take deep breath that helps Count to ten is slowly. I don't know if that helps. Do your best. <laughs> it says do your best. Count count to ten slowly. You count to ten is slowly, and then it says do your best. What do you mean do your best? <laughs> to count to ten slowly. No, no, I mean, it just says you... do your best. It's a different one. <laughs> All right, I'm very doubtful. Of it. Yeah. I accept that you cannot yeah. control everything. Welcome humor. Uh, you know, I had a panic attack a few times. And yeah. yes, and not now. In the like a couple of a year and yeah, a couple of years ago, it was a bad panic attack at work, and uh, I couldn't control it. Right? It wasn't. It wasn't what I did. It wasn't my like. It was something I wanted to do, and I got panic attack at, attack because I thought I cannot do it, and um, I wasn't the problem. I was taking it on myself, and you know, mm -hmm. at some point I said, okay, it doesn't matter. I shouldn't care about this. I I'm going to control it. You know. I think part of it is, um, some people are saying it's good and bad. It's it's a part of our nature. I think mm. first time I got panic attack anxiety, it was it was bad. I couldn't control it. Second time I was like, this is just panic attack. It's gonna go away. This is my second nature. This is like my gene from my ancestors. I don't need to panic yeah. about anything. I'm just fine. You know, I'm I'm gonna mm. do this and uh, it's under control. It's it's something that I have to do and I can do it and it's not out of my knowledge or whatever. So I controlled the situation. I did the task and the anxiety went away. Next time I got a panic attack, I was like, oh, you again. I'm going to listen to you. Get away. Get away. <laughs> I had enough. Yeah. <laughs> Not anymore. <laughs> and, and I mean, the anxiety that you were getting, it was all kind of like inflated. But this stuff that can really happen and then the, the after effects of it, it probably aren't as worse as you think they are. Um, because any form of anxiety will feel worse than it should be because it's just your nature to make that. So pretty much. Yeah. Yeah. But, um, uh, that's interesting. I mean, when you know that this is part of the nature, you can actually control it better. Hmm. Right. You can. We well, hope. Well, that's what I mean. You hope you can. That's what like they were saying. You know, you know. Th um, think about it this way: Why do you get anxious? What What is our responsibility as 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 a creature, as a being? What do we want? What's your responsibility? Yeah. What do we want? What's the point of any everything? What's the point? Um, just to reproduce and die. Exactly. That's it. Right. So, why do you um, get anxious? Majority of the, actually all the time. Why do you get anxious? What is, what is the I mean, main reason for getting anxious? The, the 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 point. I mean, you you might not be like I had a chat with Vitaly, and he's like saying, at our, our at our age, you're meant to fulfill your genetic potential, have children, and then die. So maybe as you get older, you get more anxious. <laughs> so it's realizing maybe mm -hmm. you're just. Um, you haven't fulfilled your genetic potential. And so then you attach all these emotions that, well, maybe if you had, I guarantee if you had kids, you probably anxiousness would come down. Yes. Um, that's what I wanted to say. So yeah. I think we get anxious because we are worried that the life is going to end. That's the end goal. We are here mm -hmm. to support life and push yeah. it to the next level. That's why we teach. Mm -hmm. That's why we invent. That's why we do everything. That's why we go to, mm -hmm. uh, that's why we want to go to space. That's why we want to go to Mars and, uh, mm. you know, go to other planets. So mm. I think, I think at the end of the day, we are curious and that makes us anxious. We want to find an, find an answer 
or we want to find a way to survive, to, to stay longer, yeah. to live longer, you know? Mm. And, and yeah. think about it this way. Let's say you're, you have a job, you're trying to finish something, you're a character artist in a gaming studio trying to finish something, or you're, you're a banker, you're trying to de- close a deal, and you're comp- uh, constantly anxious. Can I finish this job? What does that job to you, do, do for you, right? You make money mm. from that job. You take the yeah. paycheck home, feed your family, buy a house, buy a car, keep grinding, and repeat and stuff, right? Until you have a kid, grow mm-hmm. your kid, your kid goes to school and grows up and the same cycle happens again. And you get yeah. anxious because if, if you cannot do the, the work, then you cannot provide for the family. Or if you cannot mm-hmm. run your business, you cannot provide for the family. What do you do when mm-hmm. you provide for a family? Supported life, mm-hmm. right? Yeah. So that's the source of it, I think. And, you know, sometimes we, we are so stuck with our plans. We want something as it is. Like, we, I just want to get this thing and that's all I want. You know, I just want to work in this city and that's all I want. I want to be in California and that's all I want. I don't want to change at all. And mm. that, that actually causes anxiety because maybe you're not ready to deal with the thing that you're trying to deal with, if that makes sense. Yeah. Maybe not. Um, I I just find it like it's just. Imagine if you took anxiety away, what what would happen? Nothing. What do you think? You wouldn't think, do anything. You wouldn't do nothing. Yes, you wouldn't do anything. You'd die. Yes, yes. Life wouldn't survive. <laughs> That's what I'm trying to say. Exactly. You get anxious yeah. because you want to keep the life going forward. Yeah. So like. That's very philosophical, man. <laughs> 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 yeah and, and you know that's what interesting I mean, yeah. every every animal has anxiety I I maybe maybe i don't know um what are you gonna say I'm, I'm saying every animal has anxiety like they say when you leave the house your dog sits there and uh, they they get distressed and anxious because they they think that you may never come back again they wait for you and they wait for you until you come back home that's why they get excited when they see you you know, mm. my dog, every time he sees me, he gets ex- excited. He cannot stop jumping around. And I'm just like, dude, I'm just, I just went out and bought some bread and came back. Why are you so anxious, uh, mm. like uh, happy? <laughs> it's because they get anxious. Interesting. Yeah. You think a dog gets anxious? Yes, yes. They get anxious. You can feel it. Do they? Yeah, yeah. 100%. Yeah. 100%. Oh, right. I didn't think dogs got anxious. I thought maybe they just got excited. No, they have anxiety. And what you said yeah. is actually true. Life without anxiety, well, if you were always relaxed, then you wouldn't do mm. anything. You wouldn't hunt for food. You wouldn't work. You wouldn't design. You wouldn't mm. anything. So, and you know, sometimes yeah. you actually, you, do you know that you can actually mistake an anxiety by um, excitement? They, their feeling is similar. Anxiety yeah. and stress and excitement is exactly the same thing. It's just the circumstances that defines if it's good or bad, right? When you have a, the best speech of your life yeah. or when you, when you want to change your job and you get a job interview in the best place that you want to work, mm-hmm. right? That's your dream. You go there and you're, you're anxious, but you're excited because it's, it's what you wanted. Yeah. Yeah. It's exactly the same feeling. Yeah, I mean, it, it's an odd thing to think about that you could actually be excited, but you're <laughs> yes. you're feeling anxiety. <laughs> yeah, so literally, you're in it. You're um, it en- engrosses you just in the same way that um, the anxiety over I don't know maybe something fearful would would do it. But it's fear. I mean, a sense of fear of speaking on stage that's a fear and anxiety thing. But yeah, you never know. Maybe well, you've led yourself to that point. Maybe you're just really excited about it too yeah um be. yeah i mean it's, it's pretty interesting to think about it so yeah i don't know like it's, it's all very um yeah just reframe it just don't don't believe in yourself in you know what way. yeah yeah that's true <laughs> don't believe in your feeling because um the other thing i wanted to say is this um when you're thinking about the past does it make you anxious yeah it does because you live in the past well, in the future, it makes you anxious in the future. It makes you depressed in the past. Oh, I, anxiety, the past. future makes you anxious? Yeah. I, I mean, for me, it was like the past was making... Happen. Huh? 
past, the past makes you depressed because you look back on things that you'll never have again. Mm-hmm. Because when you think about the past, either it will be a negative thing or a positive thing, either both of those, um, the positive ones, well, you're never going to get that back. So you're going to be depressed about it. Or if you really are thinking about the past in a good light, that's different. But majority of the time you, you are attaching a negative feeling to it. So otherwise that's why people want you, you want to live in the present. You know, what's interesting right? that that's true. So yes. And I think when you're anxious, if you're constantly anxious, you actually forget about breaking the chain of anxiety. Like, um, I don't know how to explain it. If you don't find a way to get out of it, you will get stuck. And, and that's going to be hard to change. What do you, what do you mean? Um, like if you're uh, constantly worried about the future, if you're constantly anxious about the future, you can't do anything. No, you can't. You're frozen. You're, you're frozen. You can't. You cannot assess anything then. Yep. You're pretty much, um, say, if you want to you want to assess your life and go, well... Um, Get in the shot, something. Mike. You're out of the camera. Go to the right. <laughs> All right. More. Yeah, you, you went back. <laughs> <laughs> I'll leave the room. <laughs> so that's how you relieve anxiety, by uh, joking it out. too. Um, but what did you, you ask me again? I forgot but would you want to take questions because we have 15 minutes left 15 minutes what time is it yeah what 40 41 minutes we did 14 41. all right i don't know do you guys have any questions there there actually some people are active on the comment section that's good yeah let's um, take some questions um, ask us anxiety anything. is also excitement negative person will let anxiety eat them try to have the mindset of the person you want to become which is a better for you, anxiety is also a chemical disorder, so it's not only negative person. It's just I don't know if it's a medical disorder. I think it's part of our nature. We have to have these feelings to be able to so, achieve stuff. Yeah, like I realized I had um, well, I, I could say I had adult ADHD, and I think um, uh, I think you have to realize like if you go on medication for those things, you're relying yeah. on the medication to get you through instead of just dealing. I think your brain can deal with it pretty sure because that's what i'm dealing with now it's just like all right i have it um i'll deal with it i'll then if i know look if you know you have like um adhd and you're getting anxious you're probably like (laughs) the majority of your anxiety will probably be really really nothing because if you have a uh, imbalance then you can reframe it um and that reframing will hopefully balance you out as much as we like to blame things and then we like to escape into things. So if, if, if you could escape into something and then go, look, um, it's like saying a person who can't walk, they're never going to do anything again. Right. So yeah. you're, you're in a, you're adaptable. So you're moving with stuff. So just don't believe in, in being like, well, this is a chemical imbalance because you believe it, you will be it. Exactly. Exactly. You know, so, how I, the way I go through, through anxiety is I just acknowledge it and I say, this is anxiety, this is panic attack, this is stress. I had to deal with it before. How do I get out of it? Maybe I shouldn't do anything right now. Maybe maybe I should just go out, maybe eat something or like the, the thing was saying, or maybe play some piano and just sit and surf the net or watch something and then come back and push through the, the task that I have and finish it and it's gonna go away. I mean, yeah. as, because because we have short memories. We really have short memories. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah, because I mean, think about it. When the time passes, no matter what the situation is, you're going to forget it. I don't, like I went through a lot in life. Now I look at the past and uh, when I look at it, I'm like, uh, does it matter at all? No. All the, all the bad times, I forget it, forget it all. I, I just forgot everything. And the only thing I remember is yeah. good memories. Even the worst time, one time I was kicked out of, like we were with friends and we were kicked out of our home in Dubai we had a room that we rented at 12 a.m. midnight. The guy came, the owner of the house, he came and said, oh, you guys are five people in the same room. Get out, get out now, take everything. He threw us out. <laughs> yeah. Imagine that. Yeah. That was anxious. It was, it, it was, an, mm. it was an uh, anxious, how do I say? Like uh, we all got anxious and it was a bad situation, right? Now I think about it, I laugh. I, I forgot yeah. that. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it's funny. 
Yeah, That's what I'm saying. I mean, like it's short memory. Just forget it fast. We, it's that's the problem if you can hold on to the good things um but it's like we don't hold on to like much you know we don't we tend to like just forget and move i mean yeah. that's probably a good thing you're living in the present then more than like we're saying in the past or the future yeah i don't live in the past the only thing i regret in the past is like why i didn't do that why my investment strategy wasn't good then or why didn't I start to doing this earlier you can't you can't yeah. guess right because things come to you in life uh, at the right time. You only get yeah. things like for example, I got a got an offer from Kojima Production back in two thousand and thirteen. They gave me an offer, mm. everything. I was like, yes, finally we are moving to Japan. I just wanted to get out of Dubai, go somewhere, live somewhere better. And yeah. after a week, they took the offer back, and you know um, they took it back. Yeah, because it, there was a situation there. And it's it's fine. Like I, I understood, and months later I realized that I heard that they got separated from Konami. But you yeah. know, that gave me really a stress, like a lot of anxiety at the time. A stress, anxiety. I was like, I can't make it anymore. And then three months later, everything came together. I moved to US. <laughs> yeah, that's funny, yeah. right? I mean, yeah, something came up. Sometimes you just um, you don't get the stuff. Because of something else, because maybe something else is going going to happen to you, maybe you're going to achieve something better, and my life is actually hundred times better after I moved here. So it was actually yeah. good that that offer got cancelled. To be honest, mm. well, that's how you have to look at it anyway. You have to, if you are going to dwell on it, you will be depressed by the what ifs, the what ifs, the what ifs, and that will um, that will you know your essentially putting your brain in a sense of um it's kind of like if you're um thinking that that's all you want that's all you want to see but then the reality is life is passing you by and you will miss the opportunities that will come to you but the reality that's is probably- you don't miss the opportunities right this is what i say i say life is like a line you can go through this mm. line till the end of it and then you die but you have yeah. a chance to actually go as far as you want on this line you, yeah. if, if you know what I mean. So there, there are endless possibilities for achievements, but at the end you die. So before you die, there's, there are no limits how much you can achieve. And if mm. you get anxious constantly and, you know, some people actually, I get anxious, I achieve more. That's the interesting part. Like you said, it, it drives me crazy. I want to like get over that situation and uh, do something to never be in that spot again. Like every time I got mm. anxious, I got into a bad situation, I got out of it. And I, I changed everything in a way to, to kind of like never have to deal with that. Like one time I lost my job and um, I got out of it. I found a job and I figured out a way to never lose my job again. One time I didn't, mm. I didn't save money. I couldn't make money and I had to ask my friend to give me $1 to eat like, um, you know, hot dog or shawarma back in Dubai. Then I figured out a way to save money as much as I could and invest my money. So I never like have to stress that much, you know. Um, yeah. or worry yeah. about it like it's, if, if rough. so not yeah. even have a dollar exactly yeah. so if something happens to me now okay i have time how much time do i have maybe six years eight years ten years i will figure it out mm-hmm. why should i mm-hmm. worry right now so i think anxiety yeah. sometimes it's good it it kind of gives you a bad uh, it puts you in the baddest like when you're in the baddest but the anxiety is like come on do something this is it you don't have to pull be in this out, again right. huh yeah pull it out. Pull yeah it out. yeah do it's something. like it's like a voice in you, right? It's like, get out of it. Never come back here. This is not for you. I mean, like, it's it's uh, it's painful. Growth is painful, right? That's what it is. Growth is Growing painful, yes. Growing up is painful. Like, you're not meant to be too happy. You're not meant to be too sad. You're just meant to be in between anxiety, a little bit up. But you can spoil but, yourself along the way. But you know, you that, let me tell you this. We said anxiety and uh, excitement, they're similar, right? It's the same feeling. Mm-hmm. So mm-hmm. when you grow, when you when you get to a good point in life, you get better and uh, improve everything in your life and mm. people around you, that anxiety turns into excitement. You're excited mm-hmm. to try something new. You're excited to get, uh, I mean... Uh, on a new journey you're excited to live in a different place you're excited to work for a different company you're start excited to start a business that you don't know how to start it but you just do it because that's what it is that's life 
Mm. You know, yeah. the unknown is actually making you excited. It doesn't, the, the form of anxiety changes, basically. That's what I'm trying to say. I mean, before, yeah. yeah, I wanted to say this. I wanted to say people have any questions or I wanted to ask actually if, if what, what actually gives anxiety to people? Like, I want to see if they write anything in the comment section while yeah. we chat, because there's a delay on the video. Uh, it's very interesting for me. I want to know what, what causes anxiety for everyone else, you know? And yeah, how maybe deluded we can be. Yes. It's probably just like work, maybe. Majority of the time it's work because more work is work is going to give you food, shelter, mm. family, passing on the gene, moving on, next generation. I think it's it's majority of the time it's it's work. In the past work was hunting, mm. right? You had to be a hunter gatherer. Take your mm. um you know, whatever tool you made, your arrow, your sword or you know, hunting arrow or or even before that like hunter gatherers like 40 50 thousand years ago when they used uh, simple pieces of a stone and and the wood and whatever they used to to make hunting mm. uh, tools right grab it go hunt yeah that was their anxiety that was their work can i eat tonight mm. no one is responding in anything in the comment section do you guys have any well, no one has anxiety so it's yeah it looks like they're just having fun that's great yeah that's good <laughs> how, many, how many people in there 18 right now that's good yeah. yeah 133 people watched up to a point yeah yeah that's really good yeah it's yeah. good it's good do you guys yeah. want to share your anxieties something like what gives you guys anxiety not being able to match up to high standards on te technical area of art on familiar areas, feeling the need to be very good when you are new to something. Mm, mm. That's interesting. But that doesn't go away. Yes, that doesn't go away. That's always mm. with you. It stays with yeah. you forever. And that's growth. I mean, um, so like you need to grow essentially. So it's going to be growth. It will be. Um, Dilly says making a bad piece of tattoo gives me anxiety. So doing a bad job. Making a bad piece of tattoo. Yeah, he says he does tattoos. That's amazing. Do you want to well, share you know, your website in the comment section? Maybe we can look at your website. That's interesting. Mm. Do you have any tattoos, Mike? No, no, I don't. No, yeah, um, I, I don't. thought about it. No, I don't. But <laughs> I, I thought maybe I get tattoos of just like certain sayings. I actually like the tattoo art, but I'm not sure if I want to get one because, uh, first of all, look at this, like full of hair, <laughs> gorilla. <laughs> you got to shave. You got to shave. Just trim. But the like other point is, anything else. yeah, I cannot, I'm like, what if I put a tattoo and then I don't, I want to get rid of it later. Then it's, it's with yeah. you. Then it's hard to take it out. You know, it's, it's stressful. It's more anxiety. <laughs> <laughs> that's a weird thing to be anxious about you should be committed to getting the tattoo and just keep it and actually if you think about it the anxiety doesn't let me do it <laughs> anxiety yeah, of keeping the tattoo anyway. forever <laughs> let me yeah, read more comments it true. says um, anxiety of imposter syndrome tyler james or not uh mm. tata portal says not being good i focus too much on another uh, lenar says i focus too much on freelance isolating is killing me and i'm not even good at Good at it at the end. Well, we we are not good at it at the end. None of us is good. Like we are, we all have that problem. So, um, mm. you know what's crazy? Tattoos make you grow. Pain makes you grow. Yeah, I had enough pain in my life. So, <laughs> that's it. That's yeah, I had more pains than tattoos. So I'm used to. You know, actually, what I was saying, I was saying it's actually hard for me to cry now. Like different what? situation. Yeah, it's hard for me to cry. Like if something happens, I'm nah. like, okay, I can't cry. Because I, I went through a lot, like yeah. traveling, uh, you know, my marriage. When, yeah. when we got married, we had a lot of stress. Uh, we had a situation before the marriage that was like um, very stressful. Uh, you know, many different situations um, that gave me a lot of stress and and hard times. But now it's actually hard because I, it's hard for me to cry. Because um, yeah. when something happens, I'm like, yeah, I have seen worse. So <laughs> it doesn't matter. <laughs> Maybe, maybe. I don't know, like... Yeah, I didn't experience like, war, for example. That's really bad. Yeah, go ahead. I mean, crying is about being in touch with your emotions. Um, you could be a little bit congested, believe it yeah. or not, um, and not know it. 
I guarantee if maybe you did something in life that would bring out your emotions, that you'd weep and not be able to stop crying. Mm -hmm. um, so I, I think uh, we're all... This is we're a all tattoo artist in the chat. No, yeah, that's pretty cool. No, nice. Yeah, let, let me read more comments. Yeah, you quickly. don't want to stuff up. You don't want to stuff that stuff up. <laughs> Pro, Pro Noise says... Uh, what, what did you say, what, Mike? You don't want to put that stuff up? But what stuff up? I, I thought you said something. No, I no. I said if you stuff that up. Oh, yes, yes. Yeah, that's it. It's done. You're Look, secured in uh, stuffing up someone's tattoo. Like, yes. That's it. Listen yeah. to this one. Uh, Prono says, baking gives me anxiety. I actually have a tutorial for baking if you want to watch it. But it gets better. Pain weighs uh, in a skinning in... Uh, it's very anxiety inducing that's interesting if anyone wants to have a look that's your instagram loud noise gives me anxiety yeah me too <laughs> loud noise. all yeah. of a sudden of course what all of a sudden it would this is great good job yeah. man wow that's yeah, good that's cool. where do you live uh Tian Li. these are cool stuff Look at that. Good art. Also, maybe anxiety of knowing if you're on the right path. You're always on the right mm. path. As long as you live, I think you're always on the right path. Uh, I'm going to give sure? him a follow. Sure? Yeah, man. I mean, uh, think about mm. it. You're alive, right? If you're alive, you're on the right path. I mean, it depends on what you want to do. Uh, I know. Right? Yeah. Like, I want to grow a better social media. I want to... Uh, teach more i want to do like other things whatever i want to do invest better and things like that right and i have some goals that drives me and i kind of get anxious sometimes and i use it, use it as excitement excitement to push myself so mm. i mean um yeah i mean i don't know if i'm on the right path but what i do i look at data i check data and i'm like okay every six months how far did i come Am I overachieving? Am I underachieving? I had a goal for this year and I overachieved. And I'm like, okay, I did more. So there's nothing to worry about. There's mm -hmm. nothing to... I expected less from myself. And I thought if I get there, I'm, I'm going to be like, oh, wow, I did. This is amazing. I should did more. I'm like, okay, I did more. There's no feeling. It's good. But uh, I mean, it becomes normal. Uh, yeah. and, uh, and you can realize that it's not... You don't have to worry. Just grow... Just, I, I think for controlling... Um, uh, achievement anxiety and being on the right path is is if you if you want to control it is the way is to to look at the past six months i don't know if you do that mike like looking at the past six months and seeing how much d could you achieve how much you could have achieved yeah yeah that makes sense yeah yeah maximo mm. says 3d automated tools gives me anxiety <laughs> this is interesting you know mm. that our world is so small, like we are in a bubble, basically, that, that the 3D tool gives Everyone's you anxiety. We are, huh? Everyone's in a bubble. Yeah, and Everyone. you're not supposed to get anxious because of a 3D tool. No, you should I mean, be liberated by it. Yeah, you should be fine, whatever. Yeah. <laughs> mm. It doesn't exist. It's not the reality. No. But we, we get anxious. Shall we, uh, shall we leave it there? Yeah, we, we have... Mm -hmm. um, yeah, we're almost there. I don't know, guys. Yeah. If you guys have any suggestions for next videos, you guys can can give us feedback or leave us leave a comment and say what you think. Let me read this and then we go. I think career goal anxiety comes from inflexibility in goals, approach. Being patient is a skill too. Yes, uh, from my perspective, if you just keep pushing, eventually it's going to explode. Maybe we can talk about that next time, growth or something. Yeah. Yeah, we so that. because that's something yeah. that I have I have seen in my life and I'm, I'm actually going to make a video guys about my life story and um, what what I did to come to US and how where I was before when I was young and, and so on so uh, when I look at that like when I look at my life from 15 years ago 20 years ago it kind of gives me more hope that I can I can achieve and do whatever I want you know mm. Anyway, I hope you guys find this useful. If you guys have any suggestions, let me know. Dean Lee, this is great work. He's from Hong Kong, by the way, guys. Shout out to him for giving us his portfolio to check it out. Go give him a follow. 
I guess that's what we can say. Do you want to follow yeah. him, Mike? I haven't even got Instagram open. What? Oh, all right. It doesn't matter. I'm going to send you a link so I'm... you can follow later. Yeah. All right. All right, guys. Hope you enjoyed. See you all next time yep. and stay safe and have fun. Bye. Yep. See you later. See you guys. That's good.